Officer could be the most nomadic cop in Arizona. Over the years, we've exposed how he bounced from department to department six in total, leaving a trail of dishonesty and misconduct. But now his law enforcement career is over. He just lost his license, and it's because of what was uncovered by ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscopy. Friend's friend is here. Meet former police officer Christian Ensley. He became a cop in 98, started with Phoenix PD, moved to Capitol PD, then Apache Junction, Hayden, Gila River, and finally Superior. In this decision, a judge just ruled that Ensley's law enforcement career is over, upholding the state police board's decision to pull a certification. Quote, the public expects peace officers to use force only when required to be truthful and to properly exercise their power. Thus, Ensley's conduct jeopardized public trust in the law enforcement profession. Now here's a timeline of what led to the end of Ensley's career. It began on March 11, 2017. Lay flat on your back. Lay flat on your back. Body camera video shows Ensley tasered a man who's handcuffed, then threatened a witness. Hey, man, you don't have to use force like that, bro. Bobby. You have ID? You don't know You're the on me. Okay. Are you trespassing? Do you have permission to be here? Leave. And after, records show he wrote clearly false statements about what happened in his police report. Then, hours later, Not up, Clint. Who's your friend? Try again. the arrested man's friend comes to bail him out at the police station. In the lobby, Ensley falsely accused him of a crime, grabbed him before other officers rush and pile on. Are you serious? You're under arrest! Stop resisting! You're under arrest! I'm not resisting. You're under arrest. Nothing happened after those two arrests until we aired those videos in August 2020. A month later, on September 28, 2020, Ensley resigned. But the state police board didn't vote to open a case against Ensley until January 2022. Ensley decided to fight the state's decision and take the matter to court. But when his hearing came, in June of this year, he didn't show up. Now, our coverage of this case was part of a much larger investigation we called Full Disclosure. It was about officers on so-called Brady lists, which are supposed to track cops with histories of lies, crimes, and integrity concerns. You can find all of that past reporting on abc15.com slash Brady List. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.